Hey guys, welcome back. Having this channel, quite often I get asked, so who is the best vocalist ever? And I always give the same vague, maybe a bit politically correct, but a mindful answer. It depends. I mean, you can't blame me. It really depends, but on what? Well, this video should help. Last week I posted a 10 questions poll on my community tab. All the questions were supposed to show me what a great vocalist actually means to you. Since at least a few hundred of you guys filled it out, I decided to share the results with you and add some analysis and commentary. It should be fun, without further ado, let's get into it. At first, I wanted to determine the criteria people have for a great impressive vocalist. What do you guys look for? Which qualities and strengths do you prioritize? And which? Not so much. So, as we can see, the most important thing that most people, over 67% of you, expect from a great vocalist is great timbre and tone, followed by vocal agility and then emotiveness. Well, looking at this alone, you can already tell how tricky it may be to say who's the best. Since two or three most important qualities here, tone and emotiveness, are fundamentally subjective. The fourth most important thing people look for in a great vocalist are mid builds, winning with upper builds, probably since they are usually a bit easier on the ear. Only about 17% of you prioritize falsetto and even less, less than 5% actually, prioritize whistle register. Makes sense, I think. Remember these results because they're really gonna matter a lot in this video. Moving on to the next question, which one of these vocalists is technically the best, according to your knowledge and opinion? The results are pretty much intact with the previous question. Nearly 35% chose Tori Kelly, who's a fantastic user of vocal agility and also a good mid-belter. More than 31% of you chose Kelly Clarkson, often vocally underrated. I'm glad that you guys appreciated her. In my opinion, Kelly's voice is a bit more versatile than Tori's and pleasant overall. She's also a stronger belter than Tori. But she can't compete with her in terms of vocal agility. Tori has also a stronger lower register, which actually almost 50% of you guys prioritize in a vocalist. Ariana Grande comes in third, almost tied with Marisa Damon, who is also a great belter and arguably the most proficient user of vocal register in this lineup, but as we saw earlier, it doesn't seem to matter much. In general, we can also see that less vocally agile singers like Jennifer Hudson and Pevy Edwards didn't score as high. And only a few of you guys picked Demi Lovato here. I do believe that her currently being a meme is a factor in that as well. Next, same question but mid soprano edition. Jojo, a clear winner here. Brilliant vocal agility, strong belter, great emoter, and excellent lower register. You know I remember we were just kids. Jojo smashes the competition despite having not the most easily digestible voice in my opinion. Almost 18% of you guys chose Lady Gaga, an incredible emoter and a great belter. but not a very frequent and skilled user of agility. Adele comes in third, with her universally acclaimed voice and storytelling ability. Only about 5% of you guys picked Sarah Bareilles, but popularity may also be a factor here as well. Now, male edition, the most balanced spread so far. Over 34% of you guys picked Scott from Pentatonix, who's arguably the best user of vocal agility in this lineup. Get it on, 
Brendan Urie comes in second with over 32% of the votes, followed by John Legend with over 22%. Then we have Zayn Malik and Shawn Mendes, and less than 1% of you guys picked Justin Bieber. Good job, you guys. I, I'm, I'm proud. He said something, and I said something, and then he said something, and I said something, <laughs> and I made him cry. <laughs> well, then that makes two of us. Moving on. Again, the same question, but with a different selection of singers. Vocal Virtuoso Edition, if you will. Another pretty balanced spread with So Hing and possibly her insane belting prowess. <laughs> taking 35% of your votes. This one's pretty cool because she's definitely not the most vocally agile singer here. Next, the vocal trinity edition. Miss Whitney Houston, may she rest in peace and power, gaining nearly 50% of your votes, doesn't surprise me at all. If we come back to the first question, we will see the four most important qualities people prioritize in a great vocalist are great tone, where I can talk, Vocal agility, emotiveness, Why does it hurt so bad? Oh. See, I find myself right back in love with you. Oh. Tell me what. And mid builds. which happened to be one of Whitney's biggest strengths. Mariah's popularity is huge, but she's a less consistent belter than Whitney, and she's also not a very skilled user of head voice, which almost 38% of you guys look for in a great vocalist. Celine has gained almost 17% of your votes, coming in third. In the next question, I wanted to see your subjective tolerance to over-singing. It is important because most great impressive vocalists are no strangers to showing off here and there. Nearly 38% of you guys claim to get annoyed by singers over singing from time to time. Almost one fourth of you rarely or basically never, which makes sense on this channel, we've got some resilient ears. What's interesting, more than one fourth of you guys get annoyed by singers over singing often or even very often. So more is not always more? Is it? This is a very specific question. I decided to compare Billie Eilish with Olivia Rodrigo due to their immense popularity and their sometimes similar vocal style. Having said that, two thirds of you guys chose Olivia, making her a clear winner here. Despite some similarities in their sounds, Olivia has some formal vocal training to her credit, which separates her from Billie in this sense and also grants her more versatility in general. Despite Billie being possibly a more agile singer. Another super specific question directed towards Mamamoo fans on my channel, even though Solar can be argued as generally a more powerful belter with a larger sound and bigger volume output, Queen, and that's something I've said on my channel before, is a more balanced and well-rounded vocalist overall. And seems like most of you guys agree. High five. The final question. <clears throat> Sorry. How important is having a wide vocal range for a vocalist? Over 43% of you guys responded with quite important. In general, more than half of you guys agree that having a wide vocal range is at least quite important for a great vocalist, while not even a one third of you guys think it doesn't matter a lot or even at all. So you know, even if range isn't really an indicator of skill, it seems like it matters. There may be some general rules to what makes a vocalist great. There are ways to get there, but there's no single formula. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching. That's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is very different to what I usually do, but I hope you, you're gonna like the, uh, you're gonna like the concept. I mean, I think it's cool. I hope you can like it as well. Once again, thank you for watching. See you in my next one. For now, bye guys.